this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and today is uh, Sunday, Father's Day and Mark and I are uh, getting ready to go out for the afternoon. We're going to go out for a drive in the country before we meet up at my daughter's house for dinner. So, but before that, I wanted to start a video that I'll complete tomorrow and that's on making mustard. So, um, the way we do that is we add, okay, the ingredients list, half a cup of yellow mustard seed, half a cup of brown mustard seed. There is something also called black mustard seed, which is even a little spicier. I thought I'd leave that out for this, for this time. And we're going to have two teaspoons of salt, and we're going to add... Um, Two thirds cup of water and one and a half cups of vinegar. We're going to add it all in this mason jar and let it sit overnight. So we will be completing this video tomorrow. Okay, to go over the ingredients list again, I've got um, 100 grams of brown mustard seed, which is half a cup. I've got 200 grams of yellow mustard seed, which is a full cup, so we'll only be using half of these some pink Himalayan sea salt, two teaspoons, three quarters cup of water, and one and a half cups of apple cider vinegar. And the easiest recipe that I found was just to mix everything together, let it sit overnight, and then uh, we'll grind it up in the morning. So we are going to do the um, preparation for tomorrow. I'm going to start off with the most dangerous here. <laughs> last thing I want to do is spill tiny little mustard seeds all over the place. Got to put a few more than that in there. Half a cup of yellow mustard seed. And yes, I am spilling them. I'm going to add a few more because that wasn't quite half a cup. Okay. Then I'm going to seal this bag up. So half a cup or 100 grams of the brown mustard seed. Fortunately, I can just put this little bag in there. Two teaspoons of my pink Himalayan sea salt. Two thirds cup of water. And one and a half cups of, when I'm using my homemade apple cider vinegar. and another half cup. Okay, so now we just want to give this a good stir. And we'll let it sit overnight and then we'll come back. And that's how easy it is to make mustard. Should be interesting. Okay. We'll be back later. Okay, so this morning I'm going to complete the process of making my homemade mustard. And uh, the mustard seed and liquid has, the seeds have uh, expanded. And uh, looks good. Now I put it in a quart-sized mason jar. 
And I'm going to use an immersion blender, and hopefully I don't make a mess. Just have to be very, very cautious here. Considering putting it in a larger jar, but it looks like this will work. And I'm going to um, just keep doing this. Now I've also got a pot of water on with seven of these little, very small jars. I'm going to finish grinding that and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I have uh, mixed this up until I've come up with a very thick paste here. And if you find that it's too thick for your uh, liking, you can certainly add more vinegar and keep uh, grinding it up. Now I'm going to heat this up a little bit before I put it into jars because um, you don't want cold product in hot, hot jars. So, here we go. Interesting mustard. Now, you can make a number of variations of this product. You can use um, the more spicy black mustard seeds, you can add honey, you can um, make it a little more liquidy. You you know, there's, this is probably one of the easiest recipes. I have seen others where you uh, grind the uh, seeds and water first before you mix anything else up. And as I said, there's quite a number of variations to this recipe and this seemed to me to be the easiest. I think I want this a little thinner so I will add some more uh, put some more vinegar here. Taste test. Ooh, that is sharp. <laughs> now, now I understand that uh, it gets a little bit milder if you let it sit for a month, and I think that we're definitely going to do that here. I think Mark will like this. Okay, I wasn't totally happy with the amount that it got ground down, so I pulled out my little magic bullet. And I'm putting it through that to grind it up a little bit more. And it seems to be doing a very good job. Okay, my uh, mustard is now on the stove warming up before I put it in uh, mason jars and canning it. I've got my uh, jars ready. I've got lids and rings ready. And a vinegar to uh, wipe the edges of the jars and this is bubbling so I think it's hot enough at this point. Okay. I am able to fit seven in this pot and I do have a uh, rack at the bottom of it so I also have an eighth jar that I'm just going to stick in the water for now. These little jars have actually, are actually very useful for this. We want to clean the rims with vinegar. And my Water to can them in is boiling. So, 
Okay, once we put these in, then we'll let process them for about 10 minutes. Okay, so my rings are clean. Put my lids on. Now these have just sat in hot water. And I did allow for eight jars, and we don't need eight, we only need the seven, which is great. So this one is an extra, and it will come out. Finger tight, and in the canner. Finger tight, and in the canner. I guess I should show that a little bit better here. Okay. Finger tight, and in the can. No pressure applied, really. Very easy condiment to make. Everyone should try it at least once. <laughs> okay, um, now, we're just going to give this a second. It is boiling. The, the mustard was hot. Everything was hot. So uh, we should be fine. It is boiling now. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. And once that's done, we will uh, turn everything off and just leave it in the pot for a few minutes. Again, almost forgot my vinegar. Just got tossed into my boiling water. Okay, so now we'll clean up this mess and I'll get back to you when we're done here.